Before we start using iOS or iPadOS or even macOS, it is important to first understand a little bit about the online accounts that Apple provides. Apple ID and iCloud account are the ones that Apple provides. When using iPad, iPhone or Mac computer for the first time, you'll be prompted to sign in using an Apple ID or iCloud account since they provide few cloud-based Apple services and certain features on iPad OS, iOS, or even Mac OS that are dependent on these accounts. But these accounts are optional. They are not must to have to use your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. So if you don't have them, then you can skip using them. But like I said, if you have them, you can use some online services of Apple and you will get more out of these devices if you have one of these or both of these accounts. And I strongly recommend to use one single account for both Apple ID and iCloud account. That way you just need to use one email address and password whenever you are prompted to sign in into either Apple ID or iCloud account. So let me first talk about Apple ID. An Apple ID can be created using a simple registration for an individual person. With an Apple ID, you will have an email address and password that you need to sign in with. The Apple ID helps Apple to identify you and use their online services. It will also have your name and contact information along with the list of Apple devices that you own. You can also set up your payment information in your Apple ID to use any of the Apple's online services. So with Apple ID, you can buy apps from App Store, subscribe to Apple Music Service, and buy the books from Apple Books, and for which you need an Apple ID to make these purchases. The next type of account is iCloud account, which mainly provides storage services to store your data such as photos, files, notes, mails, and many more. You can also store your iPhone and iPad device backups in iCloud, and it also provides a platform where you can store certain data, such as address book, calendars, reminders, and notes, and all of them can get synchronized across multiple Apple devices. For example, the calendar information that you have on your iPhone can also be seen on your iPad and your Mac if all these devices are logged in with the same iCloud account. It is also same with your photos where you can store your photos in iCloud and access them from multiple Apple devices that you own. iCloud also provides an email account and the basic iCloud account is free but there are some additional services for which you need to pay and these new services are under iCloud Plus. Now that you know the difference between the two types of accounts that Apple provides, you can have same Apple ID and iCloud account or you might have an iCloud account that is completely different with your Apple ID. Apple ID and iCloud started as two different services but over the years they have changed and become more closely linked. But when you sign into iCloud, the email address and password that you use to sign in are considered to be an Apple ID. So you can think of iCloud as an additional service on top of your Apple ID login. Now let's look at how to create a new Apple ID as well as an iCloud account. Although we can set up two different accounts for Apple ID and iCloud, it is recommended that you set up one account for both. So I will open a browser and navigate into appleid.apple.com. On the right side, click on create your Apple ID. Here you're going to fill the form. I'll type the first name and last name. I will select my country. I will specify the birthday. I will now need to specify the new Apple ID. This will be same as my email ID. This has to be an email address that you already own because this will become your Apple ID. So I'm going to specify a strong password and confirm it again. I will specify my country code and phone number. I'll keep text message selected to verify me. I will also keep the options for announcement and app, music, TV, and more email notifications selected. I will type the code in this image. And if I click on continue, it will continue creating an Apple ID for me. 
The only downside of using the web page method is that you can only create an Apple ID, but not the iCloud account. And by the way, you can also create an Apple ID when you're first setting up your iPhone or iPad or even a Mac. But if you have skipped that during the initial setup, you can always come back and set up your Apple ID, which will also create your iCloud account. By the way, it is recommended that you create your new Apple ID using an iPhone, iPad, or Mac instead of using the Apple webpage, appleid.apple.com, because it will also create an iCloud account when you're trying to create an Apple ID. So I'm on my iPhone and I will create a new Apple ID, which will also create an iCloud account. I will go to settings app and you can see here, it says sign into your iPhone set up iCloud, the App Store, and more. Click on that. If you already have an Apple ID, you can type your Apple ID here. But if you want to create a new Apple ID, click on the link. Don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. Click on Create Apple ID, and it will take you to the same form which I showed you earlier on the web page. First, I will type the first name and last name. Next, I will specify the date of birth. I will click Continue. Now you get an option to specify either your phone number as the Apple ID or an email address as an Apple ID. I'm going to select email address. Now in here, you need to specify an email address and it will autofill your email address as firstname.lastname at icloud.com. And you are free to change the first part of your email address. In other words, if you don't want first name dot last name as your email address, then you can type whatever you need and take that if it is available. This new email address will be your both Apple ID as well as iCloud account. So when creating this Apple ID on the iPhone, we get the chance to create an iCloud at the same time, which we don't get through the Apple ID website. You can also click on use an existing email address link to use your existing email address if you have any. I will click on use an existing email address and I will type one of my existing email address. I'll keep the announcements on to receive Apple email notifications. Select continue. Now you need to specify a password and verify it again. Select continue. Now your phone number will be verified with a text message or phone. Click continue. But if you are using a different phone number, you can specify the different number by selecting use a different number. Now you have to agree to the terms and conditions. So I'm going to select agree. Okay, so it is signing into iCloud. Okay, so now I'm going to enter my iPhone passcode. Okay, so the one last thing that you need to do is you need to verify your email address before you can start using the Apple ID and the iCloud services. So I'm going to select verify email address and I will select send code, which will send a code to my email address. So I'm going to type in the code. All right, now the email address has been verified and, and you can see we have the basic iCloud plan with five gig of storage. So after you create and sign into your iCloud or your Apple ID into your device, it will remain signed in on your device. And this will be the account that you use to access services like App Store, the music app, and use iCloud backups or any other place that requires you to sign in with an Apple ID. And you also have an option to upgrade your iCloud account to iCloud Plus which provides additional storage and features. This is pretty much the same procedure that you will follow on iPad to create a new Apple ID on a Mac as well. It will be the same procedure. You will click on Apple icon, click on system settings. On the left side, you will see sign in with your Apple ID and you get an option which says create Apple ID. Okay, so this is how you create a new Apple ID and use the iCloud services. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.